Okay, so the first four terms of a sequence are 1, 3, 6, and 10. They are shown by the number of dots in the four diagrams above. Okay, so we have diagram with some dots on it, and the pattern of these dots are given as 1, 3, 6, and 10. Okay? I actually call the triangular numbers, but still. So you have 1, 3, 6, and 10 as those dots. So that's 1, 3, 6, and 10. Write down the next four terms of the sequence. Now what we could do is we could actually draw the dots. You can see the pattern of the dots. It's like the base is increasing by one each time, and then the next level above, and then the next level above, and so on. Or we could look at the numbers and see how do they change. So if we see the numbers 1, 3, 6, and 10, 1, 3, 6, and 10, Okay, you see you have to increase by 2, then you have to increase by 3, then you have to increase by 4. So therefore, to get the next number, you've got to increase by 5. So the next number must be 15. So the next number is 15, then you have to increase by 6, which is 21. You have to increase by 7. Okay, increase by 7, that gives you 28. Increase by 8. So 28. And then you're going to increase by 8, and it gives you 28 plus 8 is 36. So those are the next four numbers in the sequence. And this is the sum of the two consecutive terms in the sequence um, 3 and 6 is 9. The sum of the two consecutive terms 6 and 10 is 16. The sum of the two consecutive terms Blank and blank is blank. Okay, so you've got to look at another pair of consecutive terms. So, for example, we could take 1 plus 3 if you want. Okay, 1 and 3 gives you 4. Right? Uh, we could take any other pair we want, apart from the ones that's used. For example, we could take 10 and 15. Another pair, 10 and 15. Say 10, the sum of 10 and 15 is 25. Okay, then it says, what is a special number given to these sums? So the sums, they're talking about these numbers here. Okay, those are the sums, plus these are the sums, the ones that we just talked about. 9, 16, 4, 25. Well, we should recognize them as being the square numbers. Okay, those are square numbers. So you should write square numbers. Perfect squares, if you want. numbers. Okay, now that's part A and B done. Okay, I will um, go on to part C in a couple of minutes. Just stop the video.